Hey guys, welcome back. Another episode of the Castmates. Today we are joined by my fiance Marissa. Hello. Chim Chim Tree. Hello. Really? Hello, <laughs> Amy. Hello. El Presidente. I've seen things. <laughs> they're called South by Southwest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Mike behind the mic, Mike. Always. And I'm your host, Mario Jason. Today, we're trying Jameson Cold Brew. Oh. Long have we waited. Long have I heard. Finally, it has arrived on our shores. Well. El Presidente <laughs> has procured us. Dublé bottles. It feels Dublé. like it was like a month ago when I procured these things. Weird. Yeah. yeah. Dublé bottles. Dublé bottles. Dublé. By the way, by the time you listen to this, they may not be longer available. Just a heads up. We'll yeah, it's, run. Loaded, it's loaded release. Get yours. Well, you can't. Um, actually, about maybe like 30 bucks a bottle, maybe less. Yeah, like 20, 25 to 30 20 for that. Yeah. Awards. There's not one any. ABV, 30% or 60 proof. Distillery, Milton Cork, Ireland. Master Distiller, Brian Nation. Color, you know. Coffee. 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 Dark, dark, <laughs> dark mahogany. I don't yeah. know about that. It, I mean, it's a There's lighter no blend. It's a lighter blend than a dark roast. It's my mid, mid roast. Medium. Almost yeah. looks like Coke. Oh, that's very true. It does yeah. look a little syrupy. No. Continue. Nose, toasted oat, barrel vanilla, coffee. Wait. Mm. Yeah, it smells like coffee. But it also Toasted out, like, <laughs> vanilla, like and coffee. Vanilla and the yeah. coffee, yeah. for sure. It's pretty vanilla-y. Yep. Yeah. Well, let us try. I'm so excited. And we're having it on ice, too. Yeah, we're having it on ice. Does it say serve cold or in a cocktail? Oh, please be good. <laughs> you know, put that high, high hopes in there. It's kind of disappointing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. whoa. Oh, oh yes. It's a strong lassie she is. That tastes exactly like it should. And it's divine. I was expecting it to be a little bit sweeter. Sweeter? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Like the Patron XO or... Yeah. yeah, Right. Cool. You need some heavy cream in there. That's what it is. I like it. This is the bitterness of coffee right here. Yeah, it definitely... Oh, it's definitely coffee. Yeah. That's amazing. That's... 30 bucks, though? 25, 30, yeah. Maybe a dessert sip? Yeah. Well... It's not dessert, though. I don't know if I, like, you can't drink, like, you can't get this on the drive-thru in Starbucks and then go on your road trip, you know? <laughs> like, where cold coffee is highly, highly caffeinated mm-hmm. when you cold brew stuff. Yeah. Um, mm. But shit, it's good. It's good. It's real good. It's I like good. it. The palate, it's oily. Coffee with yeah. hints of chard oak. I mean, do I, I mean, there's nothing. Good. There's nothing super complicated about this no. one. Finish. It's very long. It lingers mm-hmm. on the palate. It's uh, it's long and warming. That's what I'm long and boring. Warming. 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 <laughs> long and boring. Uh, warming. It's almost like I want to add this to coffee. And see, <laughs> well, I think that's actually what's missing. I get the ground. I get the bitterness of coffee. I'm not really getting coffee. Coffee areas, which is fine. <laughs> Because it's definitely stronger by the Jameson part. Putting a little cream would probably actually do, would help this a lot. Not to cut it, just actually for flavor and mm-hmm. actually add to it. I think like if you're gonna drink, if you're gonna or if you're gonna do this as like a drink and you want a little bit of sweet, add we'll put some a little Bailey's. hazelnut. Ooh, Bailey's, Bailles 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 would be good. Hit. I think some hazelnut. Would... Yeah, Bailey, Bailey's oh, or hazelnut. Ooh, some of our hazelnut creamer that's in the fridge. Yeah. So the finish is long and warming. Uh, we pause for just a second. We add a little bit of hazelnut creamer to it. For some people, it was a little strong. Um, I like it just the way it is. I like it with the creamer. I like this however you want to pour it. Yep. I you can pour way. it with just an ice cube. You can pour it with the creamer. You can use it in a cocktail. I would brew a pot of coffee, pour this in there, be perfectly happy. If you yep. have like a fun. French vanilla creamer or any other flavor that's not yeah, hazelnut. Flavor. It just t- yeah, it tastes like coffee and Jameson. Yeah, it's after adding the hazelnut creamer, it almost tastes like the caramel popcorn that you get, like in the bins with the cheddar and the regular. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it reminds me of, that caramel popcorn. <laughs> like Christmas popcorn. popcorn. Yeah. 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 I don't know why it reminds me of that. <laughs> so, the weird thing with the hazelnut is like you have to add... A, a pretty significant amount you do. for it to, to be to cut the the, Jane, the yeah, bitterness to, of the to taste the, the hazelnut to cut the coffee of it because if you put too little then it almost brings out the bitterness of it and I didn't really care for it 
problem is the amount of hazelnut, well, the amount of creamer that it took to make it just right, it, this is too sweet for me. So I almost prefer just drinking it straight. Yeah, just drinking it straight. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to finish I it. I might even here. not put <laughs> an ice cube in this. Just serve it cold. Yeah, that's probably better. Or yeah, crushed even... ice. Yeah. Mm. With I a would, straw I, I'm gonna, and a Starbucks I'm gonna, cup. I'm going to experiment with some, yeah. some cocktails. There's a whole cocktail section on their webpage. Oh, right, for this, that, for that, this, for, for yeah. This so the whole idea when you're making coffee or mixed coffee is just like how you're making cocktails. It is all about balances. Because what we're serving in these larger kind of glasses with the ice cube and everything else, it's not probably how a normal cold brew is actually even served at all. No, it's a much larger cup. There's a lot more ice. It's crushed, oh. not a cube. Correct. There's a mm-hmm. lot of like factors that'll go into it and how they balance, how they develop the balance and then stir. So it's finding the right balances. It's yeah. what works out for it. Even going with the right flavors. You can do French vanilla for this if you want to do. Well, if you wanted to go straight like Tim was saying, definitely. Um, you could add coffee to this to really get that actual coffee flavor. Because that, get, yeah. Instead of because I get the bitter of coffee, but I don't get coffee flavoring out of this. And that's yeah, that's a preference to some people. But mixing it with like say a medium roast or something, or even a darker roast, would probably definitely help a lot of that stand out too. I think this would be fine also if you made like a nutty Irishman. So just Jameson cold brew, add amaretto. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Interesting. I think it would be fine like that. But that's still a hazelnut liqueur, so. Yeah, but it's a liqueur. It's yeah. yeah, it's not a nice yeah, cream. Gonna, no this cream. would be. A, right. Actually, this would be a pretty solid uh, adult coffee shake. Again, oh, I yeah. like a draft, yeah. yep, draft I, house I, shake. I, yep. Do an actual like, shake, not necessarily vanilla, but definitely go into a shake form. I still think like if you add some Baileys to it too. Baileys, mm. or I'm thinking something. Cream. Maybe we can think of a cocktail like that. Buffalo Trace bourbon cream would go good in there. Yep, mm. like for a like a like a chocolate martini. Only like since this like has an espresso martini. This has espresso. heavy dark chocolate notes. Yeah. In it. Yeah. Maybe yeah. with a little mint. Oh, yeah, that would be okay. Oh, I like what you're headed with that. Yeah. See, like, a <laughs> sweet have to, have to play. dessert cocktail. Not like a, uh, what do you, like a regular cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. But it, I love it. It's good. That's dangerous, though. Like, I love coffee, yeah. and I love Jameson. <laughs> you know where this, now that the coffee and the mint and the shake and everything, this would be really good. In the Arby's Jamocha Shake. Because that Jamocha Shake has some coffee. Yeah, well, and then you just make it an adult shake. Yeah. And I think it would be A coffee really shake like good. that would be pretty. Okay. But I also can tell you now, I'm feeling a lot of this. This is going to sneak so up on a, you. I'm going to make a oh, plug yeah. here. Um, the Haagen Dazs Boozy Ice Cream. They have like four oh, yeah, or five, yeah, yeah, boozy four flavors. five boozy flavors. With any one of those in this would be good, like as a shake kind of thing. Yeah. Um, it'd be pretty boozy, because that ice cream is the pretty drink, boozy. The drink by itself. It's good. I love it. I okay. like it, but it's you, have dangerous. To be, you have to be super into, like, coffee. coffee. Mm-hmm. I wonder if you could, it's like, reduce big. it and, like, just lit it for ice cream. That or not. I think that'd be You know fantastic. what you could do? It's you cold brew. You could and drizzle over any kind of dessert. You could really do. You could pain. add if you don't like the bitterness of coffee, which mm-hmm. I love in my coffee. Mm-hmm. You could add simple syrup to it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and, and to cut the and sweeten it up. Just yeah. just like you would any coffee, and it'd be pretty good. Some uh, or some I wonder waffles, how if you eggs. if you mm. use this with like the some, walnut uh, bitters. Old your mamas. The walnut mm-hmm. bitters that you usually use for the breakfast old fashioned mm-hmm. that might be good. This well, might be good in a breakfast old fashioned. Oh, 100%. do this. Do, a, do an of, Irish old fashioned. Yeah. Oh. Like about the red bells. That was very good at the end there. Like a, it would still be breakfast. You still have to do the bacon flavor. Yeah. But because mm. you know just bacon. bacon. All right. So mm. rating. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'd buy. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I'd buy. I'd buy it on the on the premise. Just I'm gonna play with it. In the kitchen alone. And let me see. I was spending twenty eight because I know Bailey's and Irish cream. They have an expiration date because it's. I don't think this is gonna have like no because there's, no because cream, there's, 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 there's no cream, cream or. It's not a creamer. That's the thing. That's yeah. what yeah, Bailey's is. This cream, cream. It's a liqueur. Is, yeah, yeah, it's a liqueur. This, this is, this is, this is a, actual. It's more of like a Kahlua base than yeah. a Bailey's base. Yeah. yeah. And there's nothing on the bottle that would indicate that it does expire. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd I give the hell out of that. I wouldn't. That'd I wouldn't leave such it. A good gift. Yeah, I wouldn't leave it sitting around forever. But no, no, no but like, you knock this or out I wouldn't weeks. leave it sitting in the pantry. No, no, it's safe. You got to You got to stay. You got to keep it cold. So don't mind you. You'll find it. You'll find it in normal. Shelf display and all that, and that's fine. But I think once you open it, you have to leave it in the fridge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the one you have sealed right now, Jason, like could go yeah. you can leave it in the pantry. Yeah, before I think it's not one that's going to settle. That's the other thing, it's not made to settle because then you notice a larger thickness on this. I'm curious, this one's the once you open it though, put in the, put in the fridge, say not on the bottle. I'm sure you could look it up on the website. The caffeine, caffeine con- content, um, well, I'm, it, it I'm would a... to me, it would be pretty highly caffeinated. Um, it doesn't say on there because I think it's because it's a, a, a liquor and not a coffee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but generally speaking, if it's not... It contains 17 milligrams of caffeine per 1.5 ounce of serving. Okay, so, so it's pretty, pretty high. high. It's high. That's it's really high. high. For for one, just like a normal one and a half four. Ounces. One and a half Ooh, ounce Yeah, that's four, extremely that's high. That's high. Um, okay. Yeah, that is high caffeine. That is an alcoholic's delight right there. So be careful yeah. in the morning with that stuff. That Ooh. is... Mm. Malik El Presidente. It what, tastes like cold brew coffee. Huh? Hi. What, what would be your What's going re- on? your review? That's your rating? really good. <laughs> um, I would purchase it, but I'm not like a coffee drinker. I haven't been in a long time. I I drink coffee socially, mm-hmm. so this would be a social coffee, a night coffee drink, if anything. But uh, at the end of the day, yeah, twenty five bucks is not terrible. And also, the five or six of us sitting here just already knocked out a bottle. Yeah, that's the scary thing. Yeah, there's and not it's not like, yeah, there's not, no, there's and a way less than that. A, yeah, so, right here. Okay. Right here. And, uh, and that's, it. and that's kind of, <laughs> <laughs> I think it, I think it's a it's really good. good gift though for people yeah. who like yeah. coffee and who I like, I think if they need something, like, one at a time, yeah, limited uh, offer. It, for 25 bucks, 30 bucks, that's actually wasn't that bad of a deal. I don't, I think it's fine. Where'd you I, buy it? Total wine? Or? Yeah, Specs didn't have it. Um, Specs wouldn't. You're right. And Specs doesn't do that much specialty. They do really expensive stuff. So Total, total Wine or your specialized liquor store that you have nearby in your town would have it. Um, for now. For now. They're not, even, they're not sure. sure that. They're not sure if they had a limiter. In fact, it took me a while to find this one because apparently it's like pushed back and rearranged them. Hiding, hiding it. it. As yeah. a fucking employee style. So, um... Yeah, no, I have no problem purchasing it, gifting it more like, like I said, hey, we're going to hang out, we're going to play video games and drink coffee, but we're going to drink coffee with alcohol. This is like the right balance of that. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. Um, no, yeah, nightcap. I'm, nightcap, daycap. I am not a coffee person. Oh. So, yeah, I've known that. Mike's not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan. It, I did finish it. I did need to add the creamer to it to cut the bitterness of the coffee because when yep. I was drinking it, it was just... Especially at the end of it, right? Yeah, it was well, just... The type of beans they use. They use yeah. These are high... Uh, they're, they're, they're Arabic. They're, they're Arabic. Arabic. So, yeah, they're, they're high-quality beans. Yeah. So, yeah, that's where you get the bitter bitterness. That, that bitterness, I, I love the pretty sm- bitter. I love the smell of coffee. I hate the taste yep. of coffee. That's everybody. That's yep. Amy. Yep. That's Amy awesome. loves when I brew so, it, but she's not going to drink it. I finished it with... The hazelnut creamer in there, it was decent. It was, and everything. I think it would be good with French vanilla creamer. Yeah, yeah the French vanilla would be good. I think any kind of, even just half and half in there would probably help yep. a lot too. But if you're not well, a coffee person, this is definitely not the stuff for you. Um, I I guess I would give it. For, I, I guess I would gift it for uh, someone for who coffee for, for yeah, coffee lovers. Yeah, it would be perfect for coffee. This is, it would be perfect. This is definitely a coffee lover. Yep. Even if you don't, I mean. Don't like not drink, but yeah. If you like coffee, you'll probably like this. Yeah, exactly. A cold brew coffee. Just, like if you just regularly a drink regular cold, cold brew, brew and don't mind drinking alcohol as well. Yeah, this, this is, is this is, this is perfect for you. Because that's have exactly one what of them. Have one of them. Maybe Versa. not more. Yeah, <laughs> one of them. Because I mean, it is thirty percent ABV. So I mean, it's still it's it may not, not there. It doesn't. Taste like it exactly. No, it tastes it's like very a, coffee. It tastes very coffee. So you you'll be surprised by how much AB so is actually. Okay. We don't. I don't have to Love it. This would be fucking terrible warm here. Oh yeah, definitely. You, oh yeah. You like need you it cold. Spit this out. Yeah, you need it cold. Because I usually drink coffee. There's there's a fine line with those coffee drinkers, and I usually drink coffee until you try your last swallow. Mm-hmm. You gag. Like <laughs> oh your stomach. That's what she said. 
Huh? <laughs> so stay on it until that happens. Yep. Um, <laughs> you know why that is, right? Do you know that from experience, Tim? No, I don't. I feel like you do, though. <laughs> you sounded very confident in the from podcast. What I, from, from what, what I hear. Come in, yeah, come from what I hear. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. So so this lets you know this is not a family friendly podcast. This is we're gonna <laughs> oh, no, say this is definitely marked explicit. <laughs> yeah. So I expect certain things and so remarks. So you can say fuck shit, Dan. Yeah, I like it. Well, we have before, <laughs> and we will again. Yeah. yeah, this is delicious though. I, you're you're looking like a little it. tired there, Jason. You need some more cold brew. Uh, can I keep good. you up? Look at you wired. I'm good. straight. One and a half Love. ounces of 17 milligrams of caffeine. Yeah, that, I took a. That break. is highly caffeinated. The yeah, I, added, yeah. I added. A, I added a pretty. Hefty. Big, yeah, hefty pour to mine. I'm, I yeah, fucking I'm, love this. I'm, I'm gonna, over I'm, the moon for this. Maybe, be slightly uh, awake for a bit. There's, there's maybe like two more drinks out of that. So, any, anybody thing. listening, please send more cold brew before it goes out. <laughs> because I need to stock up. This is so delicious to me. But then that? again, I'm... I'm a huge coffee drinker. I'm a huge coffee drinker. To a point, there's a limit though on what you can order. Um, you know, it's better than and no it, order. Yeah, All right. Hot coffee, cold coffee, it does not matter to me. It, if it's coffee, just plug a vein, let's go. Um, <laughs> love coffee. Love it. Have it every morning. I've, um, I could probably oh, get away with drinking one of these in the morning. I've always to be yeah. honest. I mean, it's so hey, coffee uh, smelling. You and know I've always what they call said, that, right? Alcoholism. You don't do that. No. And, mm-hmm. you know, I've always said that if a situation ever arose where it was a health concern where someone said you either give up coffee or you give up alcohol, alcohol. I would give up alcohol before I gave up coffee. Yeah. Yeah. And somebody just found a way to combine both of them for me. <laughs> oh, my God. Jameson, so you guys wouldn't are count either way. geniuses. Jameson, they, oh. they, well, they're, getting, they're getting pretty creative over there. So with what, what with all their like, newer newer kind of they have a couple of cast members expression that aren't even, that aren't even Dude, I don't want to start available here. Yep, and mm, and yeah. they do a good job. Jameson is literally what I started drinking when I started drinking that alcohol. Green bottle. Yeah. The green, I mean, that and this dark, that dark this green just brings bottle. me back and adds the flavor of coffee, mm-hmm. which I love. So the it's funny good. thing is, that, and I want to talk to you about this, Mike, for a little bit. Um, years and years ago, when we all met, mm-hmm. all that. We weren't doing this type of drinking or trying all this different stuff. And I was like, I was in a total wine last night. I'm calling Jason. I was like, you know how terrible this place would have been for us <laughs> when we started going and doing drinking or doing the house parties or anything or just, hey, we're meeting up because it was fucking Saturday. Yeah, like, I just, they imagine that, just like, we'd stop by the local grocery store to pick up some juice so we can make the fucking juice of uh, a drink. The, the great, great drink? The great drink. And then there's this whole other world of, like, liquor, high-end liquor, low-end liquor, stuff necessarily, not necessarily like this, but... Specialty, I guess. Speci- specialty items, thank you. Yeah, specialty yeah. items. Yeah, specialty. And so Jesus is like, can you imagine how bad it would have been if when we right. met, we started doing this first before, <laughs> just, like, all the bullshit we drink? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, we'd be in AA meetings for the whole time. I'm like, I wouldn't be that far, but we'd have a much crazier palette of drinks. Yeah. yeah. This is good, though. So y'all should do I mean, a real back really, episode. Tell well, all still those do, streaks. Actually, we still do so much majority of whiskey and bourbon. There's a whole wide, wide world that we have yet to scratch. I want to try more Mezcal. I want to try Armagnac. I want to try all kinds of stuff on here. And we'll get to it eventually. It's just right now... My pantry is very, very heavy. So, that's, that's a shit yeah, good yeah, point. Yeah. Yeah. Texas whiskey specifically. Texas whiskey specifically. So, well, it may be in the future, throwing back to what we used to drink or what we used to mix. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go back to will be something uh, very he completely disturbing. Does Mike still like Tawaka or not? Tawaka we'll and Cranberry. Oh, we'll man. find out. Does uh, Jason know. still like Tango Ray? We'll find out, I but do. like, I still yeah, tangerine. actually, Tangerine is <laughs> fucking weird. Dude. Does Marcus still enjoy a chicken leg? Guys, I just, so Marissa and I are on the Jameson Whiskey website. It's just jamesonwhiskey.com. They have the list of cocktails that you can have. One of them is just the... It's on the rocks. It's obviously. on the rocks. Mm-hmm. Done. One of them is Jameson Cold Brew and Cola. And sweetness, cola. Of, sweetness of the Coke Jason, would knock out the bitterness of the coffee. Do we have Coke? 
We oh, we don't need Coke, we have Pepsi. Pepsi. Oh, Pepsi. no, you hey, don't, want, you hey, do not want Pepsi. Do not, Pepsi's I'm too sweet. sweet. No, it's no. just there's a distinct taste to I Pepsi. I prefer Pepsi. You do I'm not one... mix Pepsi. Yeah. No, it's too yeah, sweet. I it's too sweet. It's, no. Yeah, we don't have... There's a walnut. Oh, there's a walnut old-fashioned on here. No. Um, we have ginger ale. Jameson Black no, Barrel Apple don't. Cider Punch. No. That's oh. a black barrel. That's a black barrel, though. No. We have black barrel. We do not have cola, though. No, we don't have... Just regular cola. So, yeah, no. We don't want it. No. We'll, we'll come back have, with a review of that. Yeah, they yeah. did have... The the only other one that they have other than uh, cold brew on the rocks is a routini. <laughs> really? A like, like, like an apple teeny? Yes. Like a martini <laughs> with cold brew. Yes, yeah. so it, and it, it's very easy. It's the cold brew... It was coffee and, and it was syrup. simple syrup. Yeah. Okay, that's what you said. Yeah, it's exactly cold brew right. Jameson or Jameson cold brew, actual cold brew, no alcohol, yeah. and then yeah. simple syrup. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. It would be per- served in martini so, glass, obviously. Well, yeah. I take it you guys are gonna make a trip to Total Wine because yes. Okay. You need like yeah. eighteen more. I, I I'm sure they're gonna limit you up to is, six. I this think. is the first time I would say I, I'd buy a case of this. <laughs> <laughs> and I just chipmunk it because <laughs> stockpile it until like and your chips for rainy and everything. Day. everything. For yes. rainy day, yeah. and this yeah. is delicious. It really is. Like I love it really coffee. Is. Like you said, you'd probably give up alcohol before coffee. I, and would. I love Jameson. <laughs> mm-hmm. And this just right. combines the two. Okay, so do we have an actual topic for this episode? We do. <laughs> Yeah, it's called mean, different it's coffee brews and throwback drinks, it? bro. Is that that's not the topic? How much <laughs> we love James? Look, and this is that's because we, you know we we like or not like something with the amount extra we talk about. Exactly. Yeah. So in general, this is a more like like than dislike aspect yeah. of it. Even Mike, who is not a fan of coffee, likes it to a point, but understands that that's not for him. Yeah. So and that's how, how I, I feel do. About it. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. It's not the worst thing ever. Because we could talk about a whole episode of that. But anyway, it's not the, the worst thing ever because it's the best thing ever. Yeah. So that's, that's fine. I mean, this is, this is what, why we do this. Because we'll find things that excite us. Is it? Yeah. It's damn near gone. It's damn yeah, gone. I'm, there, there's a second one in here somewhere. So. All right. Jason. Jason. Yeah. What, do we, what do we got, Jason? What, what's our topic for today? Ahmed. Hi. Would you rather be a deep sea diver or an astronaut? Astronaut. Really? Maybe. I like both things. Uh, probably an astronaut. You want to be a mermaid? I'm first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, would a mermaid count as a deep sea diver? That would yeah, 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 not, not work that way. Be because, be no, 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 no. Deep sea diver? Basically stuck in a big giant metal tin can and walking on the fucking water. Yeah, you're, you're not swimming like a mermaid. Be a mermaid. Now, it's cool a diver would be closer mermaid. to mermaids. You can be mermaids as a deep sea diver. Oh, I don't get the mermaid option? I don't be a merman? <laughs> No, you have to be Merman a mermaid. Merman pop. Merman. Mm-hmm. You're so, an astronaut. I mean, mer people. So apparently we're doing hypotheticals the rest yeah. of the episode. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So if I'm this deep sea mer-people. diver and I can like run into mer people, as long as they can turn me into a mermaid, yeah. yes. But if that's not an option, then I'm going to be an astronaut. It's like, va- it's like vampirism, right? They just bite you and you're a mermaid? I hope Whoa. so. I fucking hope so. It doesn't have to be about so. that. You can meet the giant... Mer-pires? I'm sorry. Mer-pires? <laughs> Rupa, I didn't know there were such things. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. A whole new world. There, there, there's, there's a whole other thing. Oh, Ryan, vampires. Breaking the world here. I'm just saying. Michael this, Bay. She could meet right a, an octopus <laughs> witch that could turn in. Doesn't have to be a mer person. Oh. Ursula. Yeah. Ursula, Ursula is a Ursula witch. Is a witch. Okay, she's my babe. I've had a goddamn whole bottle of cold brew. <laughs> <Get it. Well, laughs> right here. I'm right here. slow right now. <laughs> or are you really fast? No, you're definitely no. Really not. <laughs> I'm so glad we took the test before. <laughs> Can we do a test after we're really happy? Yeah. They're hiding the bottle from me. <laughs> the oh. other bottle. We killed one. <laughs> yeah. Um, Space Force. Definitely S- astronaut. Space Force. Oh my god. Volunteers. Because mm-hmm. I want to be in space. Okay. Marissa. See. Okay. <laughs> so I have severe motion sickness. And so my my concern with being an astronaut is that I'd be puking in zero gravity, and you can't have. But the rhythm of the ocean you. is fine for you. Well, you, you're underneath the there's ocean. Still, you're there's still there's still currents. Under the sea. 
But if you're in a deep sea it. diver suit and you throw up in there, it's going to be all in your oh, face. Oh my god, that's so true. But you're still, least, in a, you're still in a space suit, too. In, usually in space, okay. you're on a ship. You can't I don't have to be. If you're in deep sea, you're on a ship. Okay, deep sea diver only because Perfect. I like sharks. Oh, there we you all know. My yeah. jam. We all know. Yes. So, sharks. I'm going to say deep sea diver. Okay. Mike? Um, I would go... Ooh, yeah, y'all are talking about it. And I didn't even think about it. Shit. You know, I'm gonna go deep sea because if you, astronaut, yes, awesome, go out in outer space. But the chance of you actually encountering something in outer space and being able to research it, slim to none. Actually, finding something compared new to sea, yeah. compared to deep sea, finding something new to discover. Definitely. Yeah, we know, more, we know like, more about outer space than we do our oceans. Yeah. I was deep about sea. to say that. Like, we know more deep. about space than we do our oceans yep. because we deep don't sea. have the... Somehow we have the technology to go into space, but to build yep. something to go under all the pressures of the sea to figure out what the fuck is hiding yeah, down there is Zero like, G is just... so much easier to get through than, like, 100. <laughs> so, yep. yeah. It's pressure. It's all the pressure. Yep. Sure. Yeah. So let's answer it for you, Jason. I sure not. That's right. He doesn't have to think about it. 100 percent Hundy. He's all about I want to be in the International Space Station. Yeah. I want to look. You want to see the pale blue dot? I want to see the pale blue dot. Lose some wanna, bone mass. I want to sip some Jamie Colbrew. <laughs> with a straw, because you have to. Yeah, yeah with a straw, because. Whatever, yeah, however, you, 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 you can't pour it up there. Yeah. Well, yeah. you can't just stay up there. Yeah. Uh, what else All the languages are all the musical instruments. Oh, dude. To be able to speak all the language or to play all right, the musical yeah. instruments? Right included? Yeah, writing. right. Read, you know, write and write or play read, and understand. Read. Yeah. So we're we're saying read, read write, write and play, understand, speak, and an, well, all understand. languages, and be able to read, write, write and play. music and play all the instruments. Languages. I'm There's, gonna go languages. Me too. I'm Including dead ones. ones. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Including binary. Sure. It everything. is a language. Everything. Including programming. Yeah. It's a language. All of the languages yeah. of it. That just I, solidifies look, my... All of them. I understand that those people need to figure out languages or things. There's always a common thing and all that. Uh, Does Klingon count? If it's a... It's a, it's it's a, a language. It's, it's a made-up language. It's language. It's official language. Elvin? Dooley? Elvish? Do, you can learn it from Dulio, therefore you can speak it. <laughs> Guys, I can talk to y'all in Simulation. Yes, yes, yes. Duolingo? Yes, yeah. Duolingo will teach you Klingon. Yeah. They will teach you Elvish. They will teach you Dothraki from Game of Thrones. You just wow. blew her mind. Yeah, I channeled my I, I, I channeled with you, my this arrow whole episode, Wilson there. Wow! <laughs> this whole episode is just blowing her mind yeah. right now. Um, honestly, at the end of the day, yeah, I guess languages. I wouldn't mind learning an instrument or two, but I don't want to learn all of them. I've, so. I pl- you but automatically know them. I've played yeah. an instrument. Yeah, exactly. I've it's played cool. an instrument. I played it's a recorder right. in school. Does yeah. that count? Sure, it's an instrument. A it, yeah. plastic. Yeah. A cross, cross buns. buns. <laughs> yeah, I did seven. I, I did seven. I did seven years of clarinet, and I in middle school and high school. Nice. Yeah, nerd. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Don't you mock him? About Can you still play? Do you think? No, think not that. at all. I would. You I, don't have I, to I would know where the fingers go. I know how to hold it, but I don't have the the, the mouth the, the, oh, mouth, the mouth strength have mouth for it anymore because it really does take it does, it it does, does. take That's some actual strength. And my issue was weird. My issue was I never really fully learned how to read music properly. Oh, see, I could still read music. So, like, it was I would uh, fake it. For oh, the first, okay. <laughs> and then the director would get really pissed off and say, bah, 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 bah. I'm like, okay, I got the rhythm. Yep. And I knew the notes, but I didn't know how to read the rhythm. Oh, see, I could still read the music, but I think since I've done a musical instrument, I think I'd pass and I'd go with languages because I've never been able to actually like learn a real language. Uh, yeah, I, I tried Spanish in high school, and I literally my teacher passed me because she didn't want to see me again. Yeah. And- <laughs> How I've, I've, I've been basically yeah. all my success yeah. in life exactly. because of that. As someone who's, I wouldn't call myself bilingual, but like mm-hmm. semi-bilingual, because right. I know a lot yeah. of slang in Spanish, mm-hmm. and I can get by in Right, you can get by by listening fluent. to it, and you can understand a little bit. But Language is so much more so, uh, so valuable you, to me. Yeah, exactly. So, language. 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 Like, it's, language. It's all Tim? language. Talk to the language. 
language. So to play devil's advocate here, isn't mm-hmm. music a language? Yep. It is a language. It is. 100%. But just because but you can that's music not the physical act of playing an instrument. But the but actual the physical language. act of playing an instrument would be... Yeah. So I, totally different. Real randomness, real quick. Probably, I put, I, probably We don't have language. Coke, and I put a little Pepsi in this bad boy here. Um... It's an interesting taste. It's definitely coffee for sure now. How sweet is it? Not. Mm-mm. Really? Not bitter does the, does the bitter and sweetness cancel each other out? Uh, you'll see. It's pretty interesting. But, uh, so it looks like free, pretty much language. And yes, devil advocate, yes, music is a language in some form. You don't like it. But now nope. physically, well, you, you well, know. It's the coffee. It's the coffee. It, but, uh, yeah, yeah you have to definitely use that person. It's going to be more bitter. Uh, you're physically playing the language instead of speaking or talking it. Yeah, no, no, that's Amy, correct. Amy and me are both on still on the same page here. <laughs> Next question. More for them. Like, More for them. Yeah, exactly. Imagine you are on top of a forty-story building. Mm. Okay. Forty stories. Okay. There is a giant inflatable landing pad at street level. I jump. It is big Wait, enough. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Calm too much co- there's way too much coffee in Mike right now. We're sorry, people. He's really excited. <laughs> it is big enough that you have a ninety-five percent chance. Of surviving the jump. Would you jump off to save your friend's life? Yes. Absolutely. Yep. Yes. Five well, percent? Hold Five. on. What friend? <laughs> How hey, for your friend. Hey, Look, just say oh, your oh, friend. Oh, 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 no, Anybody no, no, no. at this no. table? The table, yes. Uh, Andrea. Yes. Okay. Well, somebody from work? Meh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a co- that's not a co. That's a co. Look, I, I that's like a work friend. First that's off, a work friend. I, I like your hypotheticals. I agree, but how the fuck is me jumping off a building <laughs> going to save this person's life? I know it's a little ridiculous hypothetical. If somebody's hypothetically holding a gun to your head. It's a CW show. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so, I, so I gotta wait for a religious tomorrow show. I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Do I jump no, off? It, yeah. If, it's a, if yes. it's a close friend or family, absolutely. Yes. Don't. yes. No hesitation. Little Ooh. hesitation, but, but still do <laughs> it. It is still 40, yeah, it's it's still like, 400 oh, feet up. Oh, Count down hesitation. Like, okay, okay well, count me down so I can back myself guys. up. Start at 100. <laughs> Hold on, you're all hesitation. No, more like I'm probably going to puke on the thing first before I jump. So yes. it's be like, yeah, you sure. Puke off, man. I'll catch up to the puke. That's what happens. <laughs> It washes off. Faster than the potentially, yes. Even though I left earlier. Yep. It, it, Jason it would, it would not expect you to say, like Jason, would you jump off a building? Yeah, I would jump off if it was like 75%. Oh, yeah. Like, really? 75? Yeah, wow. Absolutely. 75 is still pretty good odds. Yeah. They're really good I don't, odds. I'm not going to throw Anything names under here. 50. If there was, anybody, if there was anybody at this even, table that had a 75% chance of, yeah, li- of living, I would jump. Okay. Yeah, I think if it's close friend or even, you know, family or close friend, too, I, yeah. I might... What if there was a bottle me. of Jameson cold brew at the bottom? <laughs> Zero percent. Boom! <laughs> Off the ledge. Off the ledge. She's already gone. You would yeah. die for the cold Give brew. Give it to me! <laughs> this, okay. I'm not, die for the cold brew. You know what? I'm not going to go into detail, though. Particular people that we know in the stuff like that. So, yes, everybody would jump off. All right, what's yeah. your Next question. I thought this was going to take way longer. Oh, do you want to take longer? All right, let's get down to it. Hey, Jason, there's a certain person we know together that, you know, he may not be the best person in the world, but I'm not going to throw his name on this mic here. Yeah, I wouldn't jump. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm oh, who are you talking about? I think I know you. Oh, can, can we answer that question off air? Because I want to yes, answer that question. Yes, I'll answer that You want another yeah. hypothetical? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Hold on, I have one more. Hold oh, on. you have one more. Oh, one excellent. More. Nice. More. Hey, guys, I'm just going to finish this. Go ahead. That's fine. Cool, all right. Yeah. Ooh, and then we should do with your rather questions. Yeah, well, let's do that. We got You're walking time. in a forest, and you, you find a black suitcase. Inside, it holds one million dollars. No, it doesn't hold the dead body. Pulls one million dollars and one well, between a piece you, of yes, and a piece of paper ahead, stained in me. blood with a single word "Don't." Would you take the suitcase home or leave it? Do you want to know my actual answer? Mm-hmm. Take it to Walmart, buy a bunch of money orders, forget about it. <laughs> I told him it's okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll buy what the hell? Where did you get it? Where did you get it? Total, total wine? Total wine. Mm-hmm. We're opening because a second bottle of cold brew. Mm-hmm. So, we know the, so we know for sure no, the note is written in blood. Yes, yes we do. 
It looks like blood's not paint. It's obviously a blood type of material. Yeah, I'm taking that Millie. So Every time. what I would do? The word buy much money. I call the cops and be like, if no one claims that it's mine, because finders keepers, right? Thirty days. Actually. There is a, there is an actual law. That's a law. Yeah. Finder keepers. That, absolutely. Depending on the state where city you pick up, yes, is a thirty. It's well, up to it's about Texas, thirty days. So we ain't getting but the money. Uh, yeah, quick Rick question. Perry's stealing it. Did they spell don't correctly? <laughs> Did yes. they put the apostrophe? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so taking it. So my answer here is I leave it for now. Yeah. I do a quick loop to check for surveillance. I come back in disguise, take it, go and bury it. Wait a month, come back, unbury it, and go take it. It's very elaborate. Mike, I think you'd forget about it. No. A million, a million dollars? dollars? I'm not forgetting. What? I am literally yeah, counting no down way. the hours. Yeah, no I'm forgetting about down it. the hours to, to when I go and unbury it. He said a timer as he buried it. Yeah. One month. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Dude. We talk about this shit at the bank all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Like, we have employees that would, like, take the fucking suitcase in front of a bunch of... Ca- like, if some customer came in with a suitcase and left it there, and then you opened it later and said don't, and it had a million dollars, they'd take the fucking case. <laughs> it doesn't million say dollars. don't take it. It just says don't. Like, don't so just it. Sit don't. there and, like, question it and be like, Okay, no. I, I guess... I, I take the money, leave the suitcase. <laughs> All right, Touché. nothing on the other no, nothing on the other side, just as don't. Mm-hmm. Where did I find this suitcase? In the, in the forest. forest. You're walking, you're walking in the forest. What the fuck am I doing in the woods? Looking already for a million dollar case. Itself. This is a trap. I'm walking away. <laughs> I'm walking away. This is this is the, the, the greatest hunt. It's a trap. It's, this is the greatest hunt. They're hunting humans. <laughs> I'm out. Dude. We yes, know. I would look That's, at that and I'm like, fuck you, I'm out. That is a very good point right there. <laughs> You're hunting out. human. See, that's why I left it and did a quick loop of surveillance. No, nope, whatever you say, Boy Scout. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, Eagle Scout. I'm Eagle taking it. Right, Eagle Scout. No, it yeah. has to be well, a very there. large suitcase, just FYI, to actually have house um, a million no, dollars. Well, first off, if it's oh, all in hundreds, even if, if it was in 20s. hundreds, if it was new hundreds, probably. If it was any type of unminted hundreds, no. It'd be like yeah, it'd be like a duff. And it'd be extremely heavy. Well, yeah. yeah. Like and you, also, it'd have to be a double know, bag. Do you, know how much a million, if, do you know how much a million dollars in, in hundreds weighs? Weighs? Is no. it the fifth grader question? Well, it, it depends. <laughs> so if it's uncirculated, it uncirculated, weighs significantly yes. less. Uncirculated, it came to your bank in bands of $2,000 you know, $2, in hundred dollars. No, a strap of hundreds is 10000 It's okay. But that would be my strap up, strap, okay, well, sometimes they do straps are no straps are always hundred bills. My well, short answer, do you know the be, weight? No, I don't know off the top of my head. Twenty-two pounds. I don't think I would take it either. I'd be pounds. too paranoid. It's got to be twice that if it's. I am a very paranoid. Circulating. I'm a very, it is, it is I'd like to think I'd take the money, but I probably wouldn't because I'd be wouldn't. like, "Fuck, this is written in blood." Like, especially mm-hmm. like it's written in blood, and if the bills are in sequential order, no, nah, that's a fucking trap, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. one million. So you sat there and looked yeah. at sequential yeah. order. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Oh no. No. <laughs> one million dollars in one dollar bills is twenty-two thousand pounds. So no. one million dollars in one hundreds is twenty-two pounds. Because the bills weigh the same. Yeah. 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 But un, I wonder I what un or uh, circulated it is. It's got to be twice I as heavy. No, I have yeah. no upper body strength. I would say like <laughs> 40 pounds. pounds. Well, say Actually, yeah. that, that brings another question. Uh, just recently at uh, uh, our store, someone paid with the old style $100 bill. So you, know, <gasps> you haven't seen like 25 years. Mm. Mm. Two series or three series ago? Barely has the bar that's in the, so in the two series yeah. ago. Yeah. We get stuff all the time that's three series old. So it's $100 guys, bills that don't banks, have security features. Ooh, that's it. The funny thing is, so with mm. banks, they can potentially take it on stand right away if you do it or not. Certain big box retails, they do not do the risk. Not because Oh, yeah, they don't take them. Because yeah, they, their their uh, security measures are different. They're no longer about that pen. It's about something else. That doesn't work on older bills. So tidbit about the pen. <laughs> okay. The counterfeit pen is what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you think you're going to catch counterfeit bills with the fucking counterfeit pen, no. think again, because you can buy that paper on Amazon for 40 bucks. It it's, it's, from it's not even Sheets that. of it? Sheets of it. So that's the thing. Obviously, if there's no that's money, why, it just, the pen so, determines if it's the right kind of So that's why certain uh, big box that retailers no longer do that. They do yeah, the they black don't. light. They do a couple other things. There's like mm-hmm. three or four different things. They go through, I'm not going to go into so details they, of that, but yeah. going to a bank, you're more likely to have that changed out 
yeah, versus a, a ver- versus a, a, a big so, box accepting it. Absolutely. So retailers can accept it or can refuse to accept it. One hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. Banks cannot. Mm-hmm. Um, we accept it if it's if it's fake or real. Re- because they could actually because you can actually you, you so, so we, get we, we, we get it out of circulation, circulation if it's yeah. fake. But a little tidbit of information here: counterfeit bills are actually processed by the Secret Service. Yeah, because yep. they're Department of the Treasury. They're a Department of the Treasury. But yep. there's very few people at the mm-hmm. bank that would be tricked by a fake yeah. old hundred dollar bill. Right. Yeah. Um. It's very, very one. It's very, very hard to fake those. Yep. It's mm-hmm. way easier to fake new ones. Yeah, really. Yep. Like the multicolored the kind of design and everything else has gotten a lot design. better now. So even with like the holographic. I'll br- uh, do I, I could probably bring some older ones in okay. that are real. Um, they highly like the bank highly trains you in what to look for. They mm-hmm. do fiber testing now. Yep. Yeah. For oh, older yeah. bills, like you can tell you know, what the red type, and blue fibers. Red and blue fibers. It's a trip, not seeing a hundred. But a, a there's hundred very so few like good that. fakes yeah. that are older bills. Very few. Yeah. They're all newer um, for large denominations. Small denominations, which are way more common, especially in Austin, you need to watch out for $10 bills. Yeah, yeah. Those, those are all fake. Because basically <laughs> those are, yeah, those are basically all fake. Yeah, wow. no one pays in tennies. Um, tens <laughs> are the least used bill out of the common bills, not, not counting Other the two. two. Um, because twos are actually I see a lot of twos far are. more circulation than people think they are. Yeah. 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 The least used and bills the, when you take out the twos are tens and fifties. Yep. Yeah. One no, I two. rarely ever see a But if you're gonna if you're Tip. gonna do counterfeiting, fucking ten dollar bills, you're golden. Hey, don't answer this question because I know you'll know the answer. Who's on the fifty? Oh. President on the fifty. <laughs> wow, why well, give me a hint, man? Well, there's only one president that's not on the bill. Or that is on a bill. Grant. Mike, your your answer. Okay. Without googling. Uh, Hamilton. Yeah. No, I want to say Grant. Hamilton's yeah. on the ten. Tim, the answer. Grant. It's Grant. It's yep. Grant. Yeah. Grant. Yeah, because I mean, there's only like six presidents on the bill. So Except I mean, for one. So here's here's the here's the catch though. You can. There is a bill. Trump is not on a bill. <laughs> that has tons <laughs> of non-presidents on them. It's yep. a two-dollar yeah, okay. bill because it's Continental Congress on the back of the two-dollar bill. Yeah. There is, is a ton of yeah. non-presidents on a bill. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah. Other than the Benjamins. Benjamin, Benjamin yeah. Franklin, right? Is but the the two-dollar bill, Jefferson. The two dollar bill on the, the front, yes. Yes, the back is the different thing. Well, the back, back is the yeah. different. Yeah, the front is Jefferson. Correct, but there are and tons the, of bills. What's the largest bill you've ever seen? Five thousand. Which you don't see very. Like, it's out of circulation. It's yeah. worth like we didn't take it. We told them to take it back because at the if you turn it into the bank, we can only give you the equivalence of the face value. Oh, the face value for if it. If you have a five thousand know dollar bill, more. even in really bad condition, it's probably worth around six thousand. To yeah. a collector, Just even the, if it's like the rarity shit of it, the collector currency. Economy. There's so there's bank notes and then there's certificates. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other day we found a silver certificate one, which is like really rare. It's not. It's worth like a dollar fifty, in mm. in like terrible condition. But yeah, we see stuff all the time. But if you turn hmm. it into the bank, we can only match it. Then yeah. match the face value. Of, of course. Well, would because you it's to, it's legal tender for it's that really, amount, like, regardless of how old. Yeah. So but I've seen a five thousand dollar bill. They have. 10,000, 100,000 certificates. You never see those, but in a museum. You can see them at your local mint, though. They're not, yeah. like, super rare. I like how you said local mint. There's local not mint. many local mints. There's, like, three of them in this country, I think. Uh, Denver. Well, um, like two of them are Denver museums too. now, but yeah. you can still go to them. Denver yeah. Mint um, and Philadelphia Mint. Okay. Okay. So, back to the answer. Yeah. Jason, right, what well, would you do with a million dollars that said don't? Would, would you pick up, would you take the million dollars? No, that's a soccer's bet. Mike? Uh, oh, wait. Actually, yeah. Mike had a very elaborate Eagle Scout way of oh, yeah, taking no, it. Amy? Yeah. Would you take the million dollars? I think I'm too paranoid to take the million dollars. I'd really Same. want to, but then I'd be like, eh, Would right. you take a thousand dollars? Oh, definitely not. Just a yeah, thousand dollars not yeah. even worth it. Right. I'm just not. That doesn't even pay my mortgage. Right? <laughs> Guys, yeah. I'm just saying. I feel like maybe any. calling like 
the police and be like, hey, if no one claims it, I fell I, I, I found three nine hundred seventy five thousand dollars here. Me I know that exact amount. Me and Mike, oh. like, okay, we do the surveillance. We take it to a more liberal state than Texas, right. turn it in, say that we found it in that state, and see if we can get the unclaimed property. Exactly. Right. Because so, in Texas, they would just fucking take it from. Yeah. You. Yeah. So they would the, take it if you turned back it in. Back in Tim, would you take it? Absolutely. And you. No, I'm with Amy. I'm too Right. I, I think it's it's not fair. It's it's a trap. That's what, yeah. Uh, Admiral, 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 would you sneak in um, my head and be like, it's um, a trap. Yeah, I'm too paranoid and I'd be like, no, this is a trap. Yeah, but before yeah. you finished asking the question, my first thought was like, does that have a dead body? Like, I listened to too many tra- like, true bills. crime. True crime podcasts. Yeah. Sequential bill. Even that's, if it was sequential bill, it doesn't, like, they're so easy to, I mean, I can't. It's fine. I, mean, I can't you know tell that. on public air how easy it is to, like, okay. Get rid of sequential bills and still. We have one more. I thought that was the last one. No, we got one more. Sorry, one more. You find a book and begin to read, only to discover that it is your life. Oh fuck! You get to the point that where you where you are now, and you turn the page, knowing that you will not be able to change the events to come. So that's a very good question. Oh my god! I feel like no, 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 Jason. So, yeah, back to the question, what all the futuristic the question. I've actually been thinking about this lately. This feels nope. like Twilight Zone to me, actually. Is this a Twilight Zone episode? No. <laughs> but. Sure. It might as well be. There might be different references of, wow, it's a Twilight Zone episode. That's here and there. I've actually been thinking about this. So, knowing your future, not knowing if you could change the outcome or not. I it, it's, it poses this thing. Do you still go about... Or you're always going to change what you, you know, think, hoping it changes, even though you get the same outcome. Jason, you break your leg tomorrow. You know you're going to break your leg tomorrow. Do you do everything in the world to prevent from you breaking your leg tomorrow? Of course. This is just a mentality of trying to think you know you break a leg. But guess what? You trying not to break your leg breaks your leg. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And then you go about your business, still breaks your leg. So are you, it's one of those predestined or predetermined things mm-hmm. is what you're asking for. Do, do I read it? Sure, I care. I'll say I will fucking read the next page. I'm like, well, shit. Depending <laughs> what it says on that fucking next page. Do I read further... It's a 50-50, I would probably give it to someone else and let them deal with the burden of knowing all that shit. <laughs> what a dick, but I like wow. it. But not a negative, it yes. could be a positive thing because they're like, you know, they could be encouraging like, Oh hey, wow, hey, he's destined hey, for greatness. Do, don't give up. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah, you're and so the, close. And, and even if it's, the, even if, no, 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 even if it goes into a negative. Right, you still no, no. tell them don't, don't give, give up. up. Don't give up. Because it'll push you it'll through the negative. It'll get better. It, so like even it. if it's bad, it's like, hey, at least you know you're trying. I've read these things like, don't give up. Or like, oh, don't cross that street. Why do you keep looking you know, at me for this example? I'm, yeah. You're the closest person, and I'm holding a glass in his hand. Please. Please don't ask me to read the story because I can't deal with that kind of fucking pressure. Right? Like, okay, I, would, like, so, look, I see, I see I, half the so table I once a month, right? So I would work. not leave it to one of my good closest friends because they'd lose their shit wanting to tell me. Exactly. That's too much pressure. Too but I barely, I wouldn't say barely, I see you once a month. Right. And I think you forget it so, yeah. a few times. So you don't need a close friend. You just need a good friend, I guess. Okay, you know what would freak me out the most but if about you want, that situation? My, so you read up until no. the print, no. like, like, hey, Tim the pick, pick, picks up a book. You're and doing reading. a podcast, writing a you book. You fucking flip the page, that shit's blank. What do you do? You're dead. No, 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 no not true. similar to that, where they're, like, you get to, I'd like, be where you out are about now, the next page. and there's only, like, five pages left. Do you keep reading? Oh. So that's another thing. So here's the other problem of that. I mean, at so that point, it's Tim, like five pages. Tim, like a your blank page, it, right? maybe because the day has happened. And you happened. live happily ever after. Is <laughs> so that page <laughs> is unwritten, which means you can actually decide your destiny or whatever you do tomorrow. Cause it doesn't show up until you live it. I take that book, glue it together, put it in the suitcase with a million dollars. <laughs> And take it. By the way, it says you took the million dollars and it leads to you gluing a book together. Like, wait, wait, this book. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't think I'd read it. But it being blank means it could be two things. You're right. Mike's version of it is very negative. You die. The other positive thing is. It just hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened. It's unwritten. And the rest is still unwritten. <laughs> Thank you, Natasha. But, but for this scenario, the, the whole, like, the whole the book, whole is, book written. is written. It's written. So. Here, here, oh, fuck. 
Does it add pages? Or like I don't. I don't know. Right. Do you know how far through the way. book you are, because Jason? You can be frustrated be, about all you want. This is a question hypothetical, which I expect you to chime in now. To be, I mean, to be perfectly honest, the curiosity about what happens in my life, I think I could refrain. It's everything else that I kind of want to know about, mm-hmm. like because everything else that happens, like to friends. To family, that's gonna have some kind of effect on me. Oh, one hundred percent personally. Mm-hmm. So it's not so much that I want to know what's gonna happen to me specifically, but it kind of I want to know what happens to everybody else. Ugh, and I'm fucking nosy, man. I, you, <laughs> you know what? You, you keep reading. I've answered my own question. You keep. Reading. I'm a nosy yeah. fucking bitch. I <laughs> would read the whole fucking book. <laughs> Is it on audio? Is it on Audible? No. Is it on Audible? Okay. Okay. Wait, because hold on, that, hold on. that's a factor too. Hold on, hold on. If it's if, on if, Audible, I'm listening to the whole off, thing. First off, first off. If it's okay, an actual okay. book, all right, all right. it's yeah. on audio and it's your voice reading it. Oh my no, god. No, no, no. Oh, oh, I hate my voice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One second. Where? First, I agree Damn. with you. You would be your own voice audioing it, which, you know, some people don't like their own voice. No, so everybody right. wouldn't listen so, to it. So, here's the thing. Can I get Emily Blunt or Bill? I Emily love, Blunt, please narrate my story. I love my voice. I like that Thank you very much. Well, I <laughs> right, it. except for Mike, because so he's got a fucking huge ego. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Adele, narrate my freaking thing, because I think I can sing in my head, but I can't. So, so go ahead. Uh, actually, so yeah. What if you chose who you who out of holds your book? <laughs> right? That's, that's another factor into it, too. Um, God damn it. Emily Blunt on Adele. <laughs> Sorry. Can I can I watch the movie? Can I watch the movie, uh, the mini series of my life? Is there a Netflix series about it for? So to answer your questions, she asked me to chime in. Oh yeah, we asked. It was on Audible. Who's the voice? And Morgan Freeman. Oh shit! He <laughs> plays God. That's not even fair. I exactly. I exactly why it should yeah, be Morgan right? Freeman. Exactly. And then I listen all the way to the end. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Knowing, okay, and I know you, 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 this is more of a curiosity, you wanting to know the end, all that. Can my book be a choose your own adventure? <laughs> I live a lot of lives where there's a lot of decisions in this, uh, like, what your decisions you decide to make is gonna hit or there. Can be like, Turn to page 157. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to page 16. I don't like that outcome. Yeah, <laughs> this is a shoe. I lost a shoe. Well, fuck. Was it fun? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because if you lose a shoe leads to cancer, then fuck lives in a shoe on my hand. I'll, yeah. I'll super glue that shoe on my fucking foot. I lose that fucking shoe. That's what leads to cancer is the super glue. So. Oh, damn it. <laughs> That's true. It's so true. So, you would read all the way to the end, audible or not. You would you yes. would read to the, to the back I would, cover. I would read because I would want to know, know like, but, but if I you. live to 74 and then I die of cancer, great. I know. I know that nothing I do is going to change it, but at least I oh. know. Because so I'm the same as her. I'm, I'm fucking nosy. I'm nosy that again. way. I'm super okay. fucking nosy. Here's a, here's a slight. You finish reading the book. Uh huh. Do you give a book to Marissa? No. <laughs> do not give me the book. Should I now, want that power? The, the, re- the, the reason is because you want to share this memory. I'd be a hard thing to hold in sometimes. I, I feel like yeah. you'd have to share it with one person. Now, whether you choose Mar- with your family, see, Marissa, and, or Lily. But see, that's that's the problem. I because you mentioned, you know, giving it to a friend. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I don't, don't want to be that friend that holds that burden. You so know what actually, I mean? here, here's the deal. Like, if I read the book all the way to the end... It says, me and Marissa get married, we live 35 years happily together, and then all of a sudden, I pass away peacefully in my sleep. And she lives for another 10, 15 years. Well, no, you don't get to read that in your book. You just no, your, your, your story my, ends. My story ends. Your story okay. ends, you have if no I idea what happened. I pass away blissfully in my sleep, but you're still here, you haven't passed away yet, I give you the book. Oh, that's you. fucked up. That's but, fucked up. But, here's the deal. Hold on. If it's something horrific... Like, a year from now, we're, we're going to El Paso, I die in a car wreck, but she lives, I say nothing. I don't give her that. I don't put that on her. That's interesting. So, I think I'd want to read the book to remember everything that I don't remember growing up. Mm. Like, oh, that's true. I'd like, I would like to read all the memories, but that's I don't know point. if I would want to read forward. The future, let's be honest, there's a time where we've all been kind of blacked out. Well... 
And you're kind of curious. Just and curious, I like, think, what did I, how did I get this point? I think, you know, in all honesty, like, even if you read past present, and you know what's going on, and you know that there's nothing that you can do to change the outcome, then you probably I feel like living you your life still, to the fullest. Exactly. You still well. try to adjust your lifestyle, at least to the best of your means, to say, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to, you know, this is what's going to happen at this particular point, and no matter what I do mm-hmm. up to that point isn't going to change it, so... So, that, that so brings a whole predestination, I'm because technically, to you're going to read the page, you like currently found the book, and you started rereading your life for the last two and a half hours, or however long people read books for, and you're going to read the page. Now, it literally says... Inner monologue, thinking about should I turn the page or not, and that's gonna fuck you even more. Like, yeah. uh, you. No, I'm gonna. I'm still gonna turn it. Mike, I'm too nosy. Mike, I'm still gonna turn it. One? No, what's the next no. one? Mike, oh, what's what's your more? answer? Um, just read it. That's fine. No, no, no. no what no, is no, your no. answer, Mike? Of reading the yeah. book? Definitely think I'd read the past stuff. I have to be inebriated to read the future. Just in case there's Actually, anything. I guess the better question is how far you would read to the end. How right. far into the future would you read? Would you read just to the end of this year? I don't know. Okay. I guess it would depend on what would happen. Because so here's the deal. I mean, maybe because this year, like, pretty much for most people, sucks for this year. Yeah, but would you For me and for most worry? people, what I'm saying is, is once you turn the page and you read, most people in natural curiosity, they're going to read it. Yeah, I don't really have a problem with spoilers, so I'd probably keep reading. Like, let's say the next page. Let's say the next page is you go to the doctor, you discover you have stage one pancreatic Jesus Christ, cancer. Why are you be all negative about it? I'm just saying, no, no. But I'm Cannot saying, win a million dollars because I found money in the woods. But <laughs> let's say that after that page, there's still 50 pages left. You're going to read it because you want to know, is it going to be all treatment and I wind up dying anyway? Or do I recover and go on and live my life? See, most the, people aren't gonna. Most people aren't gonna stop. Most I, people aren't gonna stop. I feel like, like I said, I think it's the memory thing that gets me. So I'd probably read sure, it to absolutely. the point, put it on the shelf, wait another ten years, and then read the. And if I'm still around, like read it again to see what I've forgotten. No, nope. because I don't think I'd want to know what happened. I like. Because, I like spoilers. I mean, you do you, boo boo. <laughs> like, I'd keep reading. Sonic saves the world. Of course he does. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah. And maybe read till next Thursday to see if I win this award that I got nominated for. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, is there a... <clears throat> is there an index or an appendix of like... A good no, of there's things. no table of contents. <laughs> The but, final years. So, <laughs> no, honestly, like, yes, you're right. I would, I would read a couple pages into it to keep reading because I'm not a fucking reader, even about my own life, mm. narration, my own voices, whatever. I'm not a huge. I Like, like I said, uh, it would be one of those things. Tim again, wouldn't because he can't read. Can, can, That's what I don't get. I, I'd have somebody read it to me and then say stop at the. Yeah. Well, I mean, and again, I'd probably still like. Be okay just giving it to someone else, whether they choose to read it or not. I don't give a fuck. Mm. It's one of those things. So it's, yeah. Um, I read, I read a couple pages after, but yeah, right. Was it, is it blank or is it, hey, what tomorrow is? I eat a bean burrito and had diarrhea. <laughs> well, I'm probably still going to eat that bean burrito. Or not eat that bean burrito and still have, have diarrhea. I guess I would <laughs> test out the theories of the next couple pages. <laughs> Before I find out if this was legit or not. Yep. All right. So you would read to the end. Mike would read it because he doesn't give a fuck about spoilers. Amy? No, no she would stop. Yeah. yeah. She would stop. And Tim I, would read it. Tim would keep going. If someone I would have it somebody to read it to him because he can't read it. But I wouldn't. I don't think I'd read the next, more than the next page. Yeah. Was that the final question or do we have a, no, an no, Amy hypothetical? Cool. No, that was it. So cold brew. Don't worry, you'll find us hypothetically. <laughs> hypothetically, you may find us on Facebook and Instagram. On the most downloaded podcast in America. Right, I wish. <laughs> on Facebook and Instagram at Castmates Podcast, on Twitter at Castmates Pod, on our website, castmatespodcast.com. Leave us a rating review, we'd really appreciate it. Uh, choose your choose hypothetical. Will you keep <laughs> listening to us, or will you not? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for joining us. Bye. 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 Cold brew for life.